Hello nerds, thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of October 1st, 2018. This week we've got Fortnite, Kingdom Hearts, other things, Street Fighter stuff and things and intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Okay, coming out the gate, we don't got, we're, we're not doing news about the news, we're doing news about the channel. News about the channel is, I'm going to do a guest spot. I'm going to do two guest spots, actually, over on the Big Show Entertainment Network. So, link in the description to their stuff if you are unfamiliar. We, we are going to be doing reviews for both uh, the sequel of Fantastic Beasts, which is The Crimes of Grindelwald, and also for Aquaman, that is in November and December, if I'm remembering correctly. So stay tuned for that. I will obviously be promoting that as we get closer to them. But just kind of fun, kind of a, a neat little thing that I got asked to do. So I'm pretty excited about it. And now the news. Okay, uh, Fortnite, like I led with, we are going, we're coming out of the gate with Fortnite. If you have been living under a rock, then you don't know, but I'm sure most of you at this point know that, yes, Sony finally broke and said, okay, we'll do cross-platform play, but there's still a little bit of a catch. It seems that there have been issues with this beta testing of the cross-play, which uh, locks your Fortnite account to your PlayStation. So you cannot play it on other platforms once you associate the two. So there's still some bugs that need to be worked out. So don't don't celebrate too too fast. Don't 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 start doing the dances and whatever the kids do on the Fortnites. Uh, no more no dabs just yet. But it is heading that direction. It is definitely becoming a thing. Other other games are picking up on the queues. Uh, there are some games in development that are, have announced that they're going to be doing crossplay. Uh, I can't remember what they were because they didn't really interest me. But as they get closer, I will probably mention them here on your week in Nerddom Gaming Edition. So stay tuned for that stuff. Uh, right now, the big one, though, is Fortnite. They're going to be the one to work out all the bugs. They're going to be the ones that take all the credit and all the glory. And rightfully so, because they're the ones that finally broke Sony. Well, them and the fans. Sony acquiesced eventually to fan demand, which they should have a long time ago. And we're moving on. Uh, next up on the list, we are talking Kingdom Hearts 3. There's a couple of updates. One of them's kind of big. Uh, first of all is 80 hours plus. That is how long, how much content they are planning on putting in the game. So if you want to do everything, it's going to take you more than 80 hours, but presumably less than 90 hours. Otherwise, that would have been the number that they announced. So you've got 80 plus hours of action, of completed gameplay, which is significant for this generation. Though, Square Enix in the past has put out games that are upwards of 120 hours, so... It's not the biggest we've ever seen, but that's still pretty significant considering the generation that we're in. This is I, one of, if not the first, game to hit that high of a mark uh, for content. So that's impressive in and of itself. The other bit is we got a partial list of cast uh, voice actors, and there's some pretty pretty killer names in here. So I'm just going to read off the cast uh, that's been announced so far, and, and, and yeah... Uh, so, Josh Gad, who did the voice of Olaf in Frozen, is coming back as the voice of Olaf. Go figure. Uh, then we have Kristen Bell, who was also originally in Frozen. She was Anna. She's coming back for this game as Anna. Uh, Adina Menzel, who was uh, Elsa. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot Elsa's name. Adina Menzel was Elsa. She was the singing voice of Elsa as well. So, she's coming back to voice Elsa. We have Jonathan Groff, who was uh, Kristoff in Frozen. He's also coming back as his Frozen, his original Frozen uh, casting 
choice, whatever. Uh, Zachary Levi, a.k.a. Shazam, is coming back as his Tangled voice. Flynn Ryder. Uh, Donna Murphy, who was also in Tangled, is coming back as Mother Gothel. So it's it's a lot of the original voice cast. So we'll, we'll, I'll continue. Uh, John Ratzenberger, who was Ham in Toy Story, who was also in Cheers. You'll recognize the voice. He's coming back for Ham in Toy Story. Uh, Wallace Shawn, who was Rex in Toy Story, will be coming back as Rex in Toy Story. Tate Donovan was... Uh, I don't... Yeah, he was, actually. He was Hercules in the animated Hercules movie. He's going to be Hercules once more. Uh, Kevin R. McNally is going to be Gibbs from Pirates of the Caribbean. He was also in Pirates of the Caribbean. Tony Anselmo is going to be Donald Duck. Now, uh, it's Phil Lamar is playing Donald, I believe, in the animated series uh, for DuckTales this season. He got he got handed over uh, at the end of last season, and now he's going to be... Or he could be Scrooge, if I'm... I might be remembering that wrong, but I'm pretty sure he, he is now the voice of Donald uh, in the cartoon. This, uh, Tony Anselmo, is the... Um, if Again, if I'm remembering this right, is the original Donald. So this is his last project before he officially retires, it seems. Uh, Bill Farmer is going to be Goofy. Again, he's been Goofy for decades at this point, so that's epic. And then, returning as Sora from the previous games is Haley Joel Osment. I didn't know that Haley Joel was the voice of Sora, so that's pretty epic. And that's all we have for Kingdom Hearts 3. We're kicking on down the road. Next is a PlayStation update that I found to be a little interesting. <laughs> Uh, it seems Sony is jumping on this retro gaming bandwagon and releasing the PlayStation Classic. So it's a PlayStation, it's a mini PlayStation, just like we've been getting from Nintendo with the uh, Classic NES and the SNES Classic, and now they're doing the N64. Uh, so those uh, those have happened, and Sony is like, hey, we have an old system too. The games have yet to be announced for it. Uh, there are some that are rumored. I'm, I didn't really put those in the notes because I, at this point it's a little too early. All we do know is that they're going to come from the list of games that were effectively at launch with the system because none of them are going to support the Dual Shock controller. So no anal or no uh, digital joysticks. It's only going to be the analog D-pad. So. The, the console is going to come with a single analog controller, uh, which kind of like severely limits their choices because most of the greatness happened after the DualShock, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. I could be misremembering my Sony history, but I'm fairly certain that the best stuff happened after the DualShock. So I know I had a couple that didn't have DualShock con uh, support, but really... I, I think it was literally like two games on my PlayStation 1 that didn't support DualShock, so... I don't know. I feel like that's that's a bad move on their part. There's such a vast library of games that require the DualShock, and most of the fan favorites are in that category, so... I, it's still probably going to do well because it's freaking Sony. They have the lion's share of the market, so who knows? We'll see when it launches, but that's how we got there our last bit of news this week is street fighter rumors street fighter 5 has been rumored from a pretty reliable source a source that's been correct in the past about things like this uh they are going to be doing a season four for street fighter 5 so that's pretty awesome this is the time, the time in gaming that Capcom has been waiting for because they love to update their games. They love to fix things and add characters and, and all this stuff. So this is the perfect era of gaming for Capcom because they rode Super Street Fighter 2. They rode Street Fighter 2, Super was came later, for uh, over a decade. That game 
got so many updates before we got a Street Fighter 3 that it's insane. And now it looks like they want to do something similar with Street Fighter 5. Not exactly the same because it's not going to be quite that long that they go. It's only they're extending the life of it for another, probably another year if this happens. This is still definitely a rumor because none of this comes from Capcom. Um, but still pretty awesome rumor, right? That, though, is the end of this week's gaming episode, guys. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place to find your Generally Nerdy swag, eat shirts, pants, things, uh all kinds of stuff in the stores over on generallynerdy.net. Also, all the social media links, Instagram, there's some great stuff up there. Facebook is where I interact with you the most, and there is a Twitter that I have been, kind of been neglecting recently. Uh, but it is all up there on generallynerdy.net. Plus, there's some free content, some stuff that I write about, uh, blog style, and so on and so forth. So go check out the website, generallynerdy.net. Or... There's a Patreon page, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, that is the place to go do it. And you will also get more content for each tier. There's four tiers. The lowest one's just a dollar. Check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you're new to this channel, though, click the subscribe button. If you like this episode, click the like button. If you're falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that but before we go guys before we do the things and the stuff and all of the junk please always always remember that if it's generally nerdy it's probably here